Um, hey guys, I got a few requests for a tutorial on my acoustic version of Minus the Bears um, Absinthe Party at the Fly Honey Warehouse. Um, so here's a tutorial video for it. I'm not quite good with this, but I'll try to be as clear as possible. Uh, it's not that hard. It's very natural to the to the um, fingers and very natural to the picking hand. Um, I hope you guys like it. So the first thing that you need to do, um, it's standard tuning. I know that the original song is in drop D, but um, the chord positions are more comfortable. Um, and also the chord voicings are more comfortable in standard tuning. Uh, since it's an acoustic version, I like to make it as full as possible using voicings and uh, aggr uh, aggregate notes and everything. So um, it's in standard tuning. The first chord is a G. And what you need to do is uh, strum the first three strings. Sorry, the bottom three. And after that, you strum uh, the second string, which is a D, the third string, and um, the first string, and then two, three. So it's two, three, one, two, three. Uh, it would be the three bottom, two, three, one, two, three. Then, uh, for the B minor chord, you just go to the 2nd fret of the 5th string, you leave the 4th alone. Um, you need to be ready to uh, strum the A of the B minor 7th chord on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. And also you need to be ready to strum the... Um, D on the third fret of the second string. So you go to the B, you play the B and the D at the same time um, on the fifth and fourth string, and then you play the third string, then the third with, on the second fret, and then the second. So it goes. After that, you just play uh, a C chord, a C major 7th, and you play uh, the C on the 5th string and the E on the 4th, sorry, the, the C on the 5th string and the E on the 4th at the same time. You play the 2nd string, then the 3rd the fret of the 2nd string, and then the 1st one without anything on top. So it goes. Every time you return to the previous string, the whole uh, verse would be. After that, you just play an E minor seventh chord. And you need to be ready to press the A on the uh, second fret of the third string. The whole verse riff would be. Uh, for the chorus, you just need to play. Um, the same um, finger shape of uh, G chord, but on the eighth fret would be a, a G. Sorry, a, a C major chord with the ninth. Would, would be an, an F second as well, um, since it's uh, a lower registry than the ninth. But it sounds pretty full to me. It sounds pretty like it rings really nicely, uh, so it makes everything fuller. Uh, you play that one, then you play an A minor ninth chord, which is just by putting, um, just uh, put your fingers on the fifth fret of the third and fourth string. Gives a nice ring to it as well. 
and then G, E minor, G. Got to get something to eat and to drink, yeah. That's it uh, for the chorus. Uh, the ending of the chorus is actually quite uh, easy. Um, it's just playing that C chord that we played on top and then an E minor. I know that there's um, a lick that they play in the middle there, but I don't think it goes well with the acoustic version. So. Let's get about the string. That would be all. Um, after the first chorus, um, there's this gentle strumming of uh, a couple notes. So you just play a C chord. Um, the D of the third fret of the second string. And then the second string alone. And then an A minor ninth. But you just play until the G. And then you play the second string and the second fret of uh, the third string. It would be and you start over. Alright guys, um, I uh, hope that it was clear enough. Uh, if you have any questions just um, mention them in the comments down below if you need help with anything. I'd be more than glad to help out. Have fun.